Hello friends, welcome back to She's in Her Apron. Paige is very interested in these balloons for Callie's birthday. She's, she wants to know what's up with these. They're just balloons. You can't play with them, okay? You can't touch them, you can't play with them. Okay, yeah, they're not yours. They're for Callie's birthday. That is right, today is Callie's birthday and she is 20, no longer a teen, what? I can't believe this, you guys. It goes by so fast. It's unreal. And next week is Jonah's 16th birthday. So, wish the kids a happy birthday in this video because I don't think I'll be doing a day in the life for a little while. Oh my gosh. I can't believe it. So, I got those really cute balloons from a party store in town that I haven't been to yet. And a sweet gal named Lisa helped me and she watches the vlogs. Hi Lisa, I'm so glad you said hello. So I made a friend today, you guys. I made a friend, I'm so happy. So, oh, she was so sweet. So thank you, Lisa. So yeah, I love these. She did such a good job. These are so cute. Oh my word. So, all right, well, on the docket for today is just some light chores. You know, whatever the day of the week over there says what I'm supposed to do for my daily chores, that's happening. And then we're gonna be making a chocolate trifle for Callie's birthday and then some clam chowder. So yum, that is happening tonight. So I am editing, I'm getting some editing done. Um, so I'm just gonna do some light cleaning, editing and cooking, so. I've already gotten laundry going this morning, as you saw. So, all right, join me as I just homemaker my way through this day. <laughs> I just need that. All right, I am just browning up some ground beef, and I'm gonna be starting on a chili that we're gonna have for dinner tomorrow, but I am making today because I am filming it for you guys, and you've already seen the video. It's the slow cooker video that I just put out, some really yummy recipes. I'm excited for you guys to try the chili. Um, it's really good. It's different. It's really good. So, and I haven't had this in a couple of years. So, it's my, my mom's chili that she got from somebody else. But it's really good. It's different. And so, if you haven't seen it, go check it out on that video. So, I'm just browning up some ground beef. And now I'm going to head down to the food storage room because I need to grab a cake mix and all the cans before this recipe. Have you seen the food storage room here in the new house? I'll also leave a link to that video as well. Also, have you seen the makeover of the uh, office slash living room? This is the front room of our home. Derek did find an office chair because in that video, um, there was no chair, so there's that. And he did hang up the walk forward sign. Love it, I have a little blanket there. I love sitting here reading and just being with Derek, it's so nice. So he just needs to add his books. Yeah, and then I've noticed that on camera, this desk is much darker, much darker. But once he gets his books on and his big frame picture goes up there, I mean, it you gotta see it in person. It really 
ties in beautifully so all right there so i just wanted to give you guys an update because i told you in that video i would and once we get going and doing more in here i'll definitely share with you i'm down in my food storage room and i need tomato paste 32 ounces of stewed tomatoes so that's about three cans and then tomato sauce so I'm gonna grab three cans of this as well. Um, I needed beans. Ah, what were they? I think kidney, I'm gonna grab a couple of kidney and I believe I'm going to need uh, pinto beans. So, can you see this? This is why I love aprons. Look how much I can carry. I mean, seriously. All right, if I'm missing anything, I'll come back down but uh this is good <laughs> all right let's let's go finish <laughs> it's fantastic <laughs> it's the best this is why i absolutely love people <laughs> okay i don't even know how many cans i have we'll count them <laughs> Give birth to the cans. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. The chili is going. That will be just cooking away. I filmed it for you guys, and so it'll be done tonight as well. And so Kelly doesn't want chili for dinner. That's no problem. Um, I can keep the crock pot in the refrigerator, like take out the other part, put it in the refrigerator downstairs with the lid on it. And then tomorrow when we want it, blah, blah, blah. and then tomorrow when we want it, we'll just scoop it into bowls and then I'll um, pack up the rest, so. All right, but I've created a mess. I've created a mess. I need to get it cleaned up because I'm gonna get started on the chocolate cake for the chocolate trifle. My kids all now love the chocolate trifle for their birthday. Sometimes Shaylee wants it, sometimes she wants a normal birthday cake. I do have a video on this recipe down below, so give that a click. It is so addicting. It is so good. So, all right, I'm going to clean this up, and I'm going to get going on the cake mix and start prepping for the chowder. I'd like to get it going because Callie is still iffy on her plans tonight. She's coming, she's going, she's here, she's there. So I want to hurry and just start it and just have it on the stove and people can eat whenever. starting on the chowder and I'm starting on the vegetables and I'm gonna use this chopper to get my diced onions this thing is awesome <laughs> I love it I have a bowl here used as my garbage bowl 
We'll put all the peels and everything in so I don't have to drag the garbage out here and then go back and forth. So I am gonna dice up some potatoes, keep um, dicing up the onion and then some celery. I'm gonna get them all in this pot. Then I'm gonna drain the clam juice in there. And I like using the mince, well, I like using half mince, half chopped, but um, most of my kids like Jonah, they rather have the minced. So now I just get the minced and we'll squeeze the juice out and over all the veggies in the pot. But if you wanna see a full video on this, I have it below. I've heard back from so many of you guys that absolutely love it. And so glad to hear, cause it is seriously our family's favorite, favorite recipe. All right, so I only need two cups of this and according to this tray, it might have three. This thing is hard to tell, it has the measurements on, um, the side, but <laughs> we'll see. It is three in the afternoon and the clam chowder is done. I'm just gonna keep a lid on it. This thing is gonna stay piping hot for a long time. The cake is done, it's cooling off, and I'll assemble that, you know, just right before. Eh, I'll, I'll assemble that soon. I'm just trying to get this to cool down a bit before we had putting a cool whip and get it in the fridge. Here's the garbage bowl. I'm gonna get all that in the garbage. Yeah, I learned this trick from Rachel Ray years ago, and then I, I always forget to do it, and then I'm like, why didn't I just do that? And all these trips back and forth to the garbage, so today I remembered, and it's really a time saver. And for me, makes things less messy. I'm a messy cook, for sure. Now the next day, yeah, Callie didn't come home till late, so now tonight we're gonna um, sing her happy birthday and have her dessert. So what I'm doing is just ripping apart this beautiful cake and we're gonna be basically doing layers of cake, pudding, and Cool Whip. So this is balls. <laughs> all done you can see all the layers oh again I have a video of this click it down below but I'm gonna get this in the refrigerator so it could set and just get cold um, the boys are at lacrosse so when they get back we will and Felix will be here we will sing happy birthday hey friends I'm just snuggling up in the, one of the chairs here in the living room and editing away the soul cooker recipe video for you guys I hope you saw that um, and yeah Today was a good day. Went and got my hair lightened. And then it'll get lightened one more time just before the wedding. A little earlier than I usually do, but. Um, so right now I'm just editing away. I'm loving how this room turned out. It just feels so good in here. Um, but I wanted to get on and just thank all of you. Um, this is kind of an awkward position, but I'm really comfy. <laughs> um, I feel like I'm huge. Maybe we go. Maybe I look smaller like this. I don't know. Hold on. Make it comfy. Anyway, <laughs> I look like a huge, I just looked huge sitting there. But anyway, I wanted to say thank you for all the love and all the comments and all the support from the Cook With Me Meatloaf video from like a week ago, two weeks ago by the time you see this. You guys were so sweet and so supportive and, um... It was great, I read all your comments. I didn't heart any or comment on any. I don't know why, I just left that video alone. But I want you to know I read every comment, every comment. And I just wanna say thank you. Thank you for all the love and support and um, yeah. And I really, 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 really appreciate it, seriously. You're the best, you really are the best. You know, and I, and I hear it from other people that you guys are the best. 
Um, my friend Jordan, Jordan Page from Fun Cheaper Free, she talks about how amazing um, my, what she says, my audience is, your, your people, your group, you guys, my friends, and how loyal and supportive they are. And honestly, I'm like, yep, I'm pretty dang lucky. Um, I know not all of you that watch feel that way. I wouldn't say that, but I'm glad you're here anyway because you support the channel. You support She's in Her Apron. And I, I appreciate you too. And I just want you all to know I'm so thankful for all of you. So thankful. You guys, you know, I, I get a lot, you know, you've helped that I've helped you so much. But honestly, like, you guys have helped me so, so much. And I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much. But anywho, okay, enough of the mushy stuff. I'm going to get editing so you can have that slow cooker recipe video. How was it? Did you like it? I just wolfed down a bowl of the the chili and the cornbread um, that's what I had for dinner so that bowl I showed you in the video is what I just wolfed down it was so good all right so I'm gonna get back to this and then um, when the boys get back from lacrosse we'll sing happy 20th birthday Holy buddy. you probably won't see that but it's gonna happen and we're gonna shove our faces in that trifle so good. and I get to make it again for Jonah <laughs> In like eight days. Eight days he's gonna be 16. 